Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Kenya. The Energy Regulatory Commission of Kenya has scrapped all fixed charges that consumers have been paying for electricity since a time immemorial. All Kenyan news outlets on Monday spread the good news that consumers will now only pay per unit of electricity used. From Uganda, the Chinese embassy in Kampala has dismissed media reports that Ugandans are harassed by government officials while visiting China. The reports hold instance of Ugandans being denied accommodation in budget hotels in some Chinese towns. According to the embassy statement issued on the weekend, this practice by individual hoteliers was not sanctioned by the state and the government has already intervened and prohibited hoteliers from perpetrating such discrimination. News from Tanzania. Air Tanzania's recently acquired Boeing 7878 Dreamliner made its maiden flight over the weekend. The Dreamliner flew its domestic passengers from Julius Nyelele Airport in Dar es Salaam to Kirimanjaro International Airport in Arusha on Sunday morning. Moving on to South East Sudan, South East Sudanese intelligence operatives of the National Security Service over the weekend arrested Peter Abia Ajak, an ordinary critic of the government, and have been holding him incommunicado since Friday. There are fears that since the President Salva Kiir recently ordered the security services to crack down on critics who are spoiling his government's name, ordinary critics who are not political may be increasingly targeted. Finally, from Rwanda, over 10,000 households are to be relocated from high-risk zones. City of Chigali Mayor Maria Chantel Rakanzina said such households live in areas such as Ribero and Jail Hills, which have been prone to floods and landslides. That was the headlining news across the East African region.